we are at a state in the world where it needs to be reprogrammed. The world needs to be reprogrammed fast. Now, this morning, I was reading my Bible, and I was really reading Revelations from an open mind perspective. And I really started to tell myself, Revelation speaks on, you know, everybody disobeying God and everybody just being extremely fucked up from that perspective to where, you know, uh, God has to come back and fix the world and all this shit, yada, 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 blah, 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 bloom, 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 shala, shala, blah, blah, blah. But what nobody's paying attention to right now is that the world is not fucked up right now. The world is not fucked up at all. Oh, I lost connection. Okay, I'll wait till we kick back in. Uh, let me know when we good. We good, y'all? Alright, we good. Alright, the world is not fucked up. And this is what, you know, a lot of people need to understand. The world is far from fucked up. The world is actually doing better than it has ever done within the last 2,000 some years. The world is doing extremely good. And not only is the world doing extremely good, people are becoming extremely smart. And not only is people becoming extremely smart, people are becoming conscious, people are waking up, people are starting to not use the programs. And that's the real problem. People are no longer sending their kids to school. People are no longer eating all the bullshit from the fast food companies. People are starting to understand that weather modification is real. People are actually waking up from the program. Way too many. When I say way, I mean way, way too many people are waking up from the bullshit. A lot. Like, rapidly. People are eating right. People are starting to really preserve life. People are starting to really understand that they can survive without these programs. And that's not good. So, you have to restart. McDonald's be empty as shit, dog. All the fast food companies be empty as shit, dog. The clothing companies be empty. The malls and all that shit be everything be empty. Everything be empty because people no longer care for the bullshit no more. That's not good. That's not good at all. It's extremely not good. So what's happening is the programmers know that these things are not happening. So they have to do a factory reset. There is only one way to do a factory reset, natural disaster, which is clearly not natural. Factory reset, create natural disaster, wipe out millions of people, then when people have nothing, they lose faith, and then when you lose, I mean, when people have nothing, they lose hope. Then when you make people lose hope, then, they, then you give them faith, because they start praying. When you don't got nothing, people pray. And then when they start praying, then that's when they can come and play God and rebuild for you. Then you sit there and go, oh, God blessed our neighborhood to get back the way it is. So now I'm going to just get right with the Lord because he helped me survive. So I'm going to get right with you. It's like an epic setup. It's an epic setup. So what I'm saying is, no, this is leading me to one thing. This is leading me to one thing, and y'all have to listen to this with an open mind perspective. This is leading me to one scenario. 
God is evil. God has always been the evil one from day one. And that is my final conclusion. Now, I don't care how you feel about this, but I'm going to break this down to you from an extremely serious perspective. God, in the Bible, it states that God created the devil and he created him absolutely perfect. It states that God created the devil absolutely perfect without a single flaw. Perfect. Like 99, one, not 99, 100% perfect. created the devil 100% perfect, which means he has no flaws. That means he doesn't have any fucking bad glitches inside of him. It's not possible. So, according to the Bible, Lucifer wanted to be like God. Not only did he want to be like God, he wanted to be better than God, which means if God is a good guy and somebody wants to be better than you, that means you want to be a better good guy, which means he created Lucifer and Lucifer seen something that God was doing wrong and Lucifer wanted to fix it. This is exactly what happened. When you create artificial intelligence with 100% correction, it's going to correct it's going to correct humanity. If you make artificial intelligence, it's going to cre correct humanity. So, you have to look at it from this only perspective. This is, this is when it finally became clear to me. How did the devil get inside the Garden of Eden? How? This is what I'm not understanding. How? How did you get inside? How did you sneak in there? This is, no, no, see, this is what we're not thinking about. Not only that. Not only that. Not only none of that. You know, people were extremely stupid. Like humans were extremely stupid. When I say extremely stupid, I mean we were extremely stupid. Don't That was the tree of knowledge. There was a tree in the Garden of Eden. There was a tree of knowledge. Now, what I'm saying is this. God created Lucifer perfect. If you created something, it's something out of your control. You can't control it no more. Which to this day, which to this day, God still can't control the devil. And never can. And he can't. He created something that he fucked up. Now this is what people not understanding. The forbidden fruit is the tree of knowledge. So this whole time, God did not want us to be smart at all. The only tree in the garden, the only tree in there that helps us become smart. He didn't want us to be smart. I don't get this. It doesn't make any sense to me. So the devil gave us a piece of fruit from the tree of knowledge and God got mad. And not only did he get mad, he destroyed the entire world for this. 
So wait, wait, wait. So wait, hold on. So since the devil gave Eve some brains, like, yo, you're going to be smart. I don't want you to be a dumb caveman. You're going to be smart. And God was like, why the fuck you let these motherfuckers be smart? Nigga, I'm about to fuck the whole world up. Nigga, you let these motherfuckers get smart? Nigga, I'm going to fuck the whole fucking world up. You fuck the whole world up because these motherfuckers are smart. Now, now look, now that y'all got that in y'all mind, right? Now that y'all got that, that thought in y'all mind that God fucked the whole world up because people wanted to be smart. Now go back to what's happening right now. People are starting to become smart. And yet what's happening? Quote unquote, the same motherfuckers who proclaim they are gods are most definitely about to destroy all of this shit. You have to really think about this, dog. Now, I ain't no devil worshiper at all. I'm far from one. And I don't, I don't look like no devil worshiper neither. Look. Do I look like a devil worshiper? Soap carving, B Dubs raised the bar on bar food and shipped up a stacked roster of loaded hand smashed burgers, juicy chicken sandwiches, and buffalo chicken tots. So ditch the decoratives and come crush with your crew, Buffalo Wild Wings. I don't look like no devil worshiper, do I? Nah, now look, let me tell y'all something though. Let me tell you something. Want me to tell you how I don't look like a devil worshiper? See, that was a booby trap. That's a trick. I'm going to tell you why I don't look like a devil worshiper. Because the devil does not look like a demon. At all. We're going back to the perfect creation, the most beautifulest thing in the world. He doesn't look like none of that. We're going back to the original thought of this. The devil does not look like a big red monster with a pitchfork. That is a lie. He is the most beautifulest fucking creation ever. But bigger than that. Bigger than that. Oh, you was calling me sexy, G. You ain't slick. Nigga, you ain't slick. Nigga, think you slick. Talk about you for sexy, G. No, oh, nigga, you ain't slick. Nigga, try to give a nigga a little compliment on the low. Nigga, thought you was slick. You sexy, G. You feel me? Cool man, it ain't, it ain't nothing wrong with telling a nigga he fine. You feel me? Nigga, we real niggas, nigga. If you a real nigga, nigga, you, nigga, you feel me? You cool with your sexuality, nigga. You tell another nigga, hey, bro, on some real shit, my nigga. You attractive, my nigga. Like I could tell you get all the bitches. Like ain't nothing wrong with that, dog. You feel me? Look at this, uh, the Matrix, look at that. Thing. See this like look, it's a bike path all the way right here. Fuck did he walk on the grass with his bike for? What are you about to do? You gotta watch these niggas. No, oh, dog, these white boys around here be doing some weird shit, dog. This nigga probably about to climb in the tree or some shit. This nigga is weird. Weird ass nigga. She 
got to watch these motherfuckers, like, at the end of the day. They on some other shit, G. But look, peep, though. What you really got to understand is what's really going on. I just want the people to understand as a species. It's looking very ugly for us smart niggas. It's looking very ugly for us conscious niggas. Like, I'm talking about, it's looking ugly for us. We about to get our ass wiped the fuck out. I advise all y'all niggas to start being stupid. Like, go back to the stupid shit. Like, start watching TV, niggas start eating chicken, niggas start eating the hog bogs, collard greens, niggas start eating all the bullshit. Cause, nigga, if you want to survive somehow, nigga, hey, nigga, cause they about to wipe us the fuck out, dog. I'm plugging back in, nigga. I don't know what the fuck you nigga talk about. Nigga, I'm about to plug right the fuck back in. Nigga, I'm on my way to McDonald's right now. I think she look to go get a double cheeseburger. Shit, nigga. Nigga, they bought the... Nigga, look, it was just a hundred some degrees yesterday. Nigga, now it's like 50. Bruh, look what the fuck is happening out here. Do you not see this shit, dog? Bruh. Look at this shit, bro. My nigga. It's over for us. It's like over, over. Like super, super, super over. Like. It's over for all of us, bro. All of us. Ain't no big ass nothing still going on and nothing. We fucked. That's what y'all not understanding. We fucked. All of us, we will forever be fucked. So, once you start to realize that, you gotta start telling yourself. We gotta start cooning around. Everybody gotta coon around. Cause, but peep though, you know how niggas be like, you a coon. And they use the word cooning, but like, let's go back to the root word cooning, dog, kundalini. So they, so when you hear the word coon, you automatically stray away from anything coon related. Dog, everything is an epic setup. You ever thought, what is a coon? What is a fucking coon? Like, where did the word come coon? Nigga, it's the same way like Nimrod. Like, when you hear the word Nimrod. When you hear the word Nimrod. And you go, man, you a fucking Nimrod. And you automatically assume that Nimrod is bad. No, because raccoon, rat comes in front of it. And actually, raccoons are extremely smart. So what, why would you call somebody a coon? That doesn't make sense. A raccoon. That doesn't make sense. Raccoons are extremely smart. Like, they're like some of the smartest of them all. So you can't call nobody a coon. That's stupid. That, that doesn't make any sense. That's another story. But anywho... So like I said, I want y'all to really think about this. I'm about to go because I got to go live on some other social media. So um, I'm probably going to go live on, on the gram next because I don't really be on my gram live like that. So I'm going to go live on my gram next. But Pete, I just want y'all to think about this. People are waking up and a lot of people are waking up worldwide. And the system knows this. So the system has to reprogram and that's exactly what the fuck is happening right now. So y'all keep that in y'all mind. Now, I want y'all to think about this. I want you to really think about this. Jesus is the devil. I want you to really think about this. And I know what y'all, what the fuck you talking about? God only has one son. He only has one son. 
He created him, and he created him perfect. And when he came back to try to wake this fucking world up, he got his ass killed. Thank <laughs> you.